the speaker is out. How do we know when we're on? You're on. We're on? Yep. Right now? Oh, we yep. are. Oh, oh, okay. God bless. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Um, hello, Internet. <laughs> uh, do we need to close that? I think we need to close that door so that we can hear everything. Um, hello, Internet. My name's Amy Jade, and this is... Rhea Marsh. Um, Rhea. My preferred pronouns are sh she and her. Fantastic, fantastic. I think, Rhea, you're going to show us a little bit of craftiness? Yeah, so most people have candle or lighting elements in their house, and um, if you go to, like... Pier one, you would get a hurricane vase. Um, we're gonna make a queer cane vase today. It's got um, the trans colors, and then we've got um, some snowflakes, so it's very winter themed. Um, everything that we're making our craft with today can be bought at a Dollar Tree or any dollar store near you for under $10, so it's very inexpensive to make. Um, the first thing that you need is a um, glass vase. Um, okay. They come in varying sizes. As you can see, this one's a little bit shorter. Um, for this purpose, I um, got a taller one so it's easier to see. Then we've got two. You can really do this with any color ribbons that I'll you want. It. I'll yeah. It. So these um, these come in rolls and they, these are all a dollar a piece and they come in all different colors and textures. And then um, for this project, I added a little bit of sparkle because I love sparkle. And then there's a pack of um, ornamental stars or snowflakes that you can buy. Um, you can, they're varying types at the dollar store. We love a snowflake. And then there's these little, if you don't want to use a flame candle or if you live somewhere that restricts f flame, there's these little flameless votas that you can get. And like I said, all of it's a dollar. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to measure out the, um, the mesh here. Okay. So I'm going to have you help me. What we're going to do is we're basically just going to measure end to end for this vase so we're going to go like this okay. and then this um we will use as a template for the rest of our strips so we need one more pink strip just like this one more pink strip just like this one so if you want to me yeah. help me measure that out I'll and we'll cut that. it oh i like the texture of this yeah so it's like a burlap mesh Ooh. yeah it's very... and there's um at the dollar store in their crafty section they have like rows and rows of ribbons and mesh and different textures. I, so. I really like this mesh because it has like a very like queer rustic yeah. kind of feel to it. So Just it's like yeehaw, we're gay. And the rustic theme is really in right now. We love that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually um, use this, but we're going to cut it in half so that we have more um, so depth, just split depth it straight down the middle. And it's super easy to cut. Like once you find a line, you can just cut straight down it and it's really it's really hard to mess up <laughs> this, <laughs> well I, I will i will give it my best shot of not trying yeah to mess this one so up. i'm gonna have you try it if you want to try it i love it just find yourself a line and it's pretty you can see oh where yeah half, like yeah 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 it's it's, it's pretty you. much already you don't even have to have like a ruler to yeah like of course and straighten it out while you're doing that i'm gonna start gluing so the first thing that you want to do is you just want to find an end on the vase okay. and then you're just going to put a dab of glue you don't need very much just a dab and will do i have hot glue you can use whatever glue that you like to use oh, if you don't feel comfortable using hot glue but then you're just going to place it on there and hold the end um end to end and let the glue dry it doesn't take very long and when you touch it you can feel that it's cooled down and then we're going to wrap it around and then create a seam on the other side once we do that, and then what we're going to do is alternate the colors, the pink and the blue. Okay. Just like we did on this one here. So oh, that we'll, seam seems perfect. Yeah. So, and once you put the <laughs> snowflakes on it, you're not going to see the seam anyway. So I'm OCD, so I'm going to have my seams all match up, um, but you can do it however you want. It's really yeah. no wrong way to do it. And you can put as many strips of ribbon that you would like or little. It's totally up to you. Fantastic. So then we're going to do a pink row here. Yeah. I can do this one if you want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, sure. If you want to talk about um, your business. Yeah, so it's really just creations, I say. Um, my tagline is um, um, creative consultant and contractor. So this Christmas I've been making Christmas gifts for friends and um, helping them, you know, give the best gift that they can that comes from the heart. Oh, I but, love that. Um, I've always kind of been a crafty person. Yeah. Um, but um, I recently became sober and today is actually my 21 month 
Oh my God. Sobriety anniversary. So, um, but through my sobriety, um, something I learned in AA was busy hands are sober ones. And so through that, I have really just like kind of immersed myself in crafting and arts and drawing and writing. And recently here, I've delved a little bit back into my yeah. writing. So, oh my God, that's so That's exciting. such a great job. Was it? Yeah. So. Is my seam. <laughs> seem fantastic. I don't know. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I got glue all over my hands, so, though. I'm not very good at that. So, a trick that I like to teach people about yeah. glue. So, whenever, whatever surface that you're gluing on, if when you're done gluing, if you just kind of like, just kind of like break the edge it. off, it will it will um, reduce that stringy. Oh, really? Um, yeah, extraness oh from the vase. So they never taught me this. In yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all like tricks of the trade that you learn from crafting. Yeah. Is my is my band tight enough? I feel like it's gonna just like wiggle no, on down. No, because once we um, put the other um, elements on top okay, of it, it's it'll keep really it not gonna move a whole oh lot. So This thing is like, if it's me proof, then anyone can do it. Yeah, it's, it's oh super, super easy. Love it. Um, it can be made, It would be a, this would be a fun craft to make with your family. Everyone sit around. Of course, the adults need to be using the hot glue gun. But honestly, you could use. Then I shouldn't be using the hot glue gun. <laughs> you could you, you could honestly be using any type of glue. Oh um, goodness. I like to use hot glue because it's a little more sustainable and lasts over time. Oh, nice. um, and then we're gonna do our pink here. Love it. Our last one. So what is just a, it's a hurricane vase? Yeah. So I just dubbed it a queer cane vase to kind of be a little. Festive Love that. and inclusive for the um, M Tug Telethon, but you can call it whatever you want. Okay. I just happened to call it a queer cane vase because I thought it was witty. And who was the was it Matthew Kane? What, the guy who plays um, Albert the Butler from Batman? I've Michael Kane. Michael Kane. Mike. We could make a Michael Kane vase and just cut out a bunch of pictures of Michael Kane. So um, that was dumb. I'm sorry. For, um, this one. <laughs> Um, I just got this little sequin um, strips in the yeah. same color. You can either put them over the same color or you can alternate if you want to do that. Ooh, I like the alternate. You want to alternate really this one. Yeah. So yeah, so we're just going to do that. Um, and just like with the other ones, we're just going to measure really quick and it doesn't oh, have no. to be perfect. Oh, it's no problem. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect because whatever you, if you cut it too long or too short, you can always trim it up or just cut a new piece. Yeah. I mean, and you get so much perfect. for a dollar. Yeah. So. It's perfect however you want to be. So I'm going to find the seam here. And um, we're alternating because that's what Amy Jade wanted to do. And um, we're just going to put place it here. And you really don't need that much. It's like very just little. Dab just, a dab, just a dab. Just a dab will do you. It's like, it's like a half a pea. <laughs> and then you bring it around. Okay. And then you just glue right on top of it. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think the more organic it looks, the better. Um, some people like things to be a little more perfect, but honestly, I think just whatever your preference is, you can really just do whatever you want. Oh, I love, I love an imperfect thing. It's uh, the people I date. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have the blue ready. Okay, yeah. And then we're gonna put that Right over here, we're gonna start just it on the seam. Yeah, start right back on I'm the seam. Yeah, put if you some don't give glue me, there, me my just a little, little bit of glue. And you see how I just kind yeah. of flip that was that a good up. way. Yeah. So just a dab of glue, and then um, and then wrap it around. Oh, I went way too far. But this is where we learn. So yeah. like, you can just take it and just overlap it a little, and just, just give touch. it a little snip. Oh, yep. Oh goodness. So then we're gonna place a little dab of glue here. Dab that little glue back in there. And you see how you don't get that string of oh, yeah. you, you excess have got glue. It down to an <laughs> oh, trust me, I have burned my fingers plenty of times. Oh, so, <laughs> what are your favorite like materials to work with when you're crafting? Um, I really just like things that are unconventional. Like, okay. um, these are great items, but I really like reusing a lot of things. Yeah. Um, I like making things out of other things. Yeah, I'll um, cut these so, if you want to yeah, keep talking for about sure. those. Um, what's, what's the most unconventional thing that you've crafted? So I'll cut this. I did. You, you, um, tell, you tell a cool story. Well, I'll, I'll do the, I'll do the lot, grunt work. A lot of people um, have used it before, but I really love using cork because there's a lot of ways. Oh. Wine corks um, and bottle corks, um, there's a lot of ways you can use it. You can make trivets, which are like... What's a, tri a trivet? Um, so if you have a hot pan, if you glue a bunch of corks, cut them in half and yeah. glue them down on a, 
a smaller frame, you can create a trivet for a pan. Um, a friend of mine in her wedding, she actually um, cut, cut them in half and made the letters L, and then it was a pegboard, and then they pegged like L-O-V-E, oh, and then they beautiful. pegged all the pictures on it. So that oh, was really cool. But I, it's really just anything if you put your mind to it, and there's nothing wrong with it. You just try, and you see what works, and you, if it doesn't work, then you try something else. And that's a lot of my creations I just create by happenstance um, yeah. sometimes, but most of the time it's just, I just have fun with it. And that I think that's the whole point, isn't it? Oh, 100%. <laughs> what, what have you done that just like, did not work. It just would not, would not um, I think one of the worst projects I ever did, I was trying to do this deal with clothespins. Okay. And I was trying to create a mosaic with clothespins. <laughs> really? I didn't, um, I didn't think it through. Yeah. <laughs> and so it ended up just looking like a bunch of painted clothespins. So <laughs> I just, that this one of those. But that's, that's very outside of the box thing. Yeah, but like it's like that's... trial and error and yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. So since we're almost done putting on this glitter trim, um, so this, um, at the dollar store by my house, um, this came in a pack of five and you can use all of them or just a few of them. Um, and they're basically just ornaments, but we're gonna use them oh. if we can get it out of the. I, I'm, I You're am not an great. expert. You're doing great. No, you. it looks great. And I really like the alternating colors. It actually like makes it pop even more. It, yeah, it makes it look a little bit more candy-ish. Yeah. Like, I, I, would, I would lick it. So once again, I love glitter. Um, so then the next thing that we're gonna do is you can really just place these where you want. Um, just slap I think, them wherever. I think for this one, we're just gonna go straight down the front. Yeah. If I think we can do that. It's a buttoned up look. Yeah. Like, this is a professional queer can. <laughs> what was it? A queer -a cane. Queer -a cane. Sorry, I've got to. So then I just use the um, the the seam of the snowflake. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, to put the glue on, and then I'm just gonna cut off the ornamental just string. Just like right Because we're not the putting line. it on a tree. Oh no, we're not. We don't need to put a queer -a cane on a tree. So then you can just place it really anywhere. It's really just where your preference is. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put it right here, and then wherever you want to put it. Where do if I you want to put, put it, it straight down or. Ooh. I might, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go straight down. Okay. I really like this button down, business ready, <laughs> queer cane vase. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have got such a shaky hand. But you didn't have any I didn't, strings. I didn't, I didn't, I'm improving. So then we're gonna just place it. Right on there. And even if we wanted to, we probably could have added another ribbon here, but yeah. honestly, like there really is no way, no wrong, right or wrong way. It's no. really just what you prefer. And then just like this other one, we're just gonna pop this in there. Um, you can use real candles in these. Um, just make sure to use a votive, not a pillar candle, because if too much heat gets on the inside of the glass, really? it will reheat the hot glue. Oh, and then it'll yeah, all just- and then it'll all just fall apart. So we don't want that to happen. Is that, is that an experience of like- um, I have learned that. So <laughs> the trial we're and just error. gonna pop this down in there. Pop that on in there. I don't know if- Oh, I can, I'll, I'll wiggle it. Yeah. I'll just- and the Dollar Tree, perfect. And the Dollar Tree um, has other size, they have pillar candles, flameless yeah. candles, everything like this, and so. Oh, you know what I would love to do with this is those little like uh, glass pebbles. Yeah, you, know you could put glass pedal, pebbles in the bottom, oh, like that'd be so whatever, cute. and if you wanted to make one for a different time of the year, you could change the color of the ribbons, oh, um, anything like that. So um, this craft, I was gonna donate to the Trans Queer Flat, so that that. you all could have it as a decoration oh my God. for the winter holiday. That's so, so um, I have, um, if anyone wants to see my any of my other crafts, I'm reconstructing my Instagram, but you can find me on Instagram at remade, R-H-E dash M-A-D-E, um, and see other projects I've made. And hopefully, um, I'm gonna hopefully try and start doing more tutorials and things like that. God, I love a tutorial. Yeah, I love so those tutorials so much. I enjoyed our time together today. Yeah, I we made some too. awesome crafts. Thank you so, so much. Nice, I, I love to like do the hands thing. It's really fun. It's yeah, really fun. for Thank sure. Thank you so much for, for sharing sure. time with me. Oh my goodness. Um, do we make the move now? Do I make the little, the walkabout? Do you need to pan with me or do I just disappear from the camera? Hello. <laughs> Hello friends. Hello foes. Hello loved ones. Hello others. Um, my name is Amy Jade and thank you so much for tuning in to uh, the Intug Telethon. Um, it, please, if you have the ability, 
we really love some donations. We're really trying to raise some money for some really good causes. Um, I, uh, I'll talk for just like a little bit of my experience with MTUG. Uh, I think that's what everyone's kind of doing here. Um, so for me, I first was introduced to the people at MTUG at St. Louis University. Uh, a couple of the people, including Sayer Johnson, of course, because he's everywhere, uh, showed up and uh, were welcomed onto campus to talk about the experiences of being trans, about the organization, about the people that they've known, and just, just life stories, you know, the stuff that we love to hear, we love to listen to. And um, seeing this organization and seeing these people uh, living their lives and just being like happy about it, uh, it was like a really transformative thing for me. It was an opportunity for me to see possibility models, uh, people living the life that I was not sure I could uh, possibly live. But after meeting the people over at MTUG, I was able to start dealing with some internalized things. And it helped me be able to realize that I wanted to transition and that I needed to transition. Um, so please, like this is a very good organization. And if you have the time, if you have the money, please donate your, your resources. Or just like come by, say hey to everybody at the, at the house. Like, they're great people. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, whoever is watching me do this. Um, I did not have a, enough of a prepared uh, series of things to say, but that's fine. We're all just kind of flying by the seat of our pants, aren't we? It makes it exciting. It makes it fun. It makes it organic. When we love organic things. Um, again, thank you for uh, Rhea for this. I'm going to show off your little thing one more time to make sure that everybody sees. Should I back up? Am I out of, am I out of focus? Thank you. Thank you so much. The update on the donor list? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Allora. <laughs> okay, we got the donor list. Should I just read through it? Yeah. Okay. Um, hours five and six, telethon donors. We have the Sisters of St. Joseph for $300. Should I say the amounts? Or is that... Okay, not all of them have amounts. Is that okay? Yeah, some didn't show up. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> um, I would like to thank the Sisters of St. Joseph so much. Thank you um, from the bottom of our hearts. I keep touching my thing and I need to stop or I'm going to cause like some bad audio, aren't I? Oh, I'm very sorry. Uh, Marcia Spicer, thank you so much for your donation. Kathy Bergeron Williams, I hope I said that right. Um, but thank you so much for your donation. Melanie Severs, thank you so much for your donation. Um, Leah Patriarco, that's a fun Italian name. Uh, thank you so much for the $100 that you donated. We really, really appreciate it. Ash G, thanks friend for your donation. I should come up with more creative things to say for all of these, shouldn't I? Uh, Michelle Lando. Lando? Land Landio? Landue? I'm sorry, that's probably not the most nice thing to do. Michelle, thank you so much for your donation. Um, Elizabeth Spicer, uh, no idea if you're related to Marcia Spicer, but like you Spicers are really, really helping us out here, and we really, really appreciate it. Haley Green, you stay, you stay green, you stay verdant. Um, thank you for supporting us and like our mission here today. Uh, Christina Schmeider, thank you. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Uh, Jasmine Maurer, uh, bless you from, your, from my heart to yours, bless you. Thank you for your support. Um, Timothy Lewer, Le 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 I'm so sorry. I know that you probably get this too much. Timothy Lewerens, thank you. And again, I apologize for butchering your last name. Uh, Melissa Rude. Rude. Rude attitude. Thank you, Melissa, for your support. Noki Ray. Thank you, Noki. I, God bless you, Noki. Uh, Andrea Melanie. Thank you so much for your support. Shannon Weintrop Rollman. Thank you. Thank, thank all three of your names. Thank you. All right, fantastic. We are up to a total of $7,892. Y'all are really changing some lives, and you're supporting an organization that does amazing stuff. Um, that is the Telfon uh, donor update from hours five and six. And you guys are going to be stuck with me for a little bit longer, so I hope uh, the amount of times I flub my words is endearing. 
Um, uh, again, my name's Amy Jade. You are going to be sick of my voice in a little bit, but uh, thanks for watching. Um, are, are we ready for the next? Probably not. Yeah, if you don't mind checking. Um, fantastic. Uh, what else should I talk about? Should, I just, should we just talk about life? Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm the only one mic'd. Um, so, what else can I talk about? Um, if you've ever been to the MTUG HQ, uh, definitely check out Alex's Closet. They have a bunch of clothes um, for free for community members who need to find like new outfits. Keep going, keep going. Okay, I can do that. I'll just keep on rambling. Oh, love that. Five to ten minutes, y'all, so enjoy. Anyway, Alex's Closet. Alex's Closet is a really fantastic resource over at MTUG. Um, they take donations for clothing. I think they're a little bit overwhelmed with donations, so please come through and take those donations. There are some just real snazzy things in there. Uh, just gorgeous clothing. So please take a, take a walk on down. Five more minutes, lovely. Um, take a walk on down to the MTUG HQ. Check out Alex's closet. Um, there is a food pantry that is uh, running at uh, MTUG. If you or if anyone you know is ever um, needing just like to add some stuff to their pantry at home or to stock the fridge, just come on through and we'll get you set up. Um, MTUG has multiple uh, days throughout the year that they help you with paperwork. If you would like to change your name legally or your gender markers, please come through to the MTUG HQ on those days that they're doing it. Uh, they will find somebody there to help you walk through the process. The process can be a little complicated. It can be a little difficult if you don't know exactly what you're doing and you don't have somebody walking you through the steps. But luckily, here in St. Louis, we've got an organization that's down to do that. Um, also, just go through HQ. They do a lot of support groups and just community building events that are just they're magical, really. Um, there's just something special about being in community with people that you share identities with. And uh, I don't know, like it is, it is a really good place and I really recommend it. Um, if you are an ally or a supporter, please, 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 like, don't, don't feel like a stranger. You can come through the HQ, we'll find work for you. Don't you worry about it. Um, I guess, uh, keep rambling, keep going, do what? My movies, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done a couple like uh, amateur films in the past, if anyone would like to check them out. Go ahead and send it, okay, we don't need to talk about that.